lesson 12 to pyramids so pyramids are just another shape and most of what we do will be defining what a pyramid is so I'll draw several different types of pyramids this isn't the only one we have it is a classic pyramid in that it looks like the Great Pyramid at Giza in Egypt so we've got certain things we have to learn that's the vertex. This whole thing on the bottom, that's the base. That's a base edge. Um, and then the hard part is the altitude down the middle. A lot of people have a lot of trouble with this. Hits right at the center of the base and hits at a right angle, of course. And halfway along a base edge. Uh, we usually give this a letter O for the center of the base. And this red line is the height. This, of course, is a lateral edge, just like in a prism. And try and do the back one. That, of course, is a lateral face. The whole side of the pyramid. Now a lot of people look at this and say, oh, that's an equilateral triangle. It's almost always an isosceles triangle. It's very rarely an equilateral triangle. And the base can be any kind of regular polygon. Because that's what we're going to be dealing with. Regular pyramids is the primary one. So the base is a regular polygon, square. Equilateral triangle, regular pentagon, regular hexagon, regular octagon, so on and so on. All the lateral edges are congruent, so they form isosceles triangles. They could be equilateral, but they're definitely isosceles triangles. So you take the lateral face and you look at it and it forms you know 10 10 8 something like that the lateral edges are always the same the base edge is whatever and as we showed the center of the base is O now here's the one thing we did not cover the slant height and that would be right down a lateral face. And I'll draw one in a little bit. That one's a little tricky to, to understand if you haven't seen one of these before. Once you get it, it's really not that bad. So now I'm going to make a, a challenging one to draw. I'm going to put an equilateral triangle for the base. I'm going to purposely draw it nice and tall and pointy. So this is the base, this is O, this is the height, so on and so on. So let's give it some numbers. Say that the base is 16 long. And let's say the edge is 17 long. So let's draw a lateral face here. It's 
17. Eight and eight, that's 16, brought up over here. So then you would look at that and say, oh, that's a triple. Slant height equals 15, eight, 15, 17. Then how would you figure out the height? Well, you've got to cut it down the middle. And this is extremely difficult conceptually. And we get our height here, our slant height here of 15. And then, in this case, we have an equilateral triangle down here on the bottom. So we'd look at this and say, well, that's 90, this is 8, this is 30 degrees. So if this is the long side, the short side is 8 root 3 over 3. And now we've got some really messy math to do. I need a little spot for it. We would have to say 8 root 3 over 3 squared plus h squared equals 15 squared. So you notice one of these was a nice clean triple. The other one was not. That's fairly typical. Happens a lot. So square this, we get 64 over 3. Plus h squared equals 225. So h is square root, and I'm not going to do the math, 64 over 3. It'll usually be a slightly cleaner number, but you get the idea. When we get a equilateral triangle as a base, it makes life fairly complicated. If you're not freaked out yet, you should be. It's a lot of math, very challenging. You need to know all the previous stuff we've done, or else you're going to have a trouble, a lot of problems with it. Now, how do we find the lateral area? Well, if we know the base is a regular uh, polygon, a square in this case. Uh, we know the slant height is 12 or something. It doesn't matter. We can just quickly do the lateral area. It's one half the perimeter of the base, which is 8 times 4. It's four sides at 8 each times the slant height of 12. So 192 units squared. So that's the the area of each of the four sides added up. If we want a total area, we'd have to add the base. And the volume of the pyramid equals one third the area of the base. So we'll do a square one again. draw a dotted line down the middle and I say that's H and it's 13 the base has side of 6 we said the base area that's why we have capital B 6 times 6 equals 36 and the volume is 1 3rd 36 times the height of 13 volume equals 12 times 13 Should be 159. No. 156. And that would be units cubed. Yeah. So, some complicated math. Uh, conceptually fairly challenging. Get working on it, you'll be fine. Good luck.